I'm in some serious trouble, religiously speaking. The New Testament letter of James has a warning to preachers. It says, Not many of you should become teachers, brothers and sisters, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. James chapter 3, verse 1. This is... See? <laughs> you know, you can't plan this stuff. <laughs> This Bible verse is pretty lousy news for priests and preachers and pastors. We will be judged with greater strictness because we talk so much. I am in serious trouble. My seminary actually went out of business, by the way. I am trying not to take this personally. But when I graduated in 1986, a, a picture was taken of our entire class in our robes, standing next to the chapel altar. And every year the class picture was put up in one of the hallways of the seminary with a Bible verse chosen by one of the faculty members. And the year I graduated, they asked the preaching professor for the verse. And he thought for a minute, and he said, John chapter 11, verse 35. We all scurried to our Bibles, and this is what it says. Jesus wept. <laughs> okay, that didn't really happen. But my seminary really did close down. And John chapter 11, verse 35 is the shortest verse in the New Testament. Just two words. Jesus wept. And you know, there is no place in the New Testament where it says Jesus laughed. And I wish there were. It would be my absolutely favorite verse. You see, it's my only hope. If Jesus doesn't laugh, I'm dead. If Jesus lacks a sense of humor, I am doomed. If Jesus can't laugh, I can't go to heaven. So in the Gospels, I have to read between the lines. And I'm pretty sure that Jesus really does have a sense of humor. Some of his parables and some of his sayings are pretty funny the first time you read them if you aren't familiar with them already. And he kept those bumbling disciples of his around, even when they missed the point and got it wrong and let him down again and again and again. Maybe these goofy disciples of his made him laugh. Given my own track record of failures, I have to bet everything I've got that Jesus has a sense of humor. Now, in the story we hear today from John's Gospel, the disciples just cannot grasp the idea of resurrection. Jesus had told them he was going to rise from death. He told them several times. But it's like they never heard that one before. And then Thomas can't even believe it when the others see Jesus alive and tell him about it. So then, a week later, Jesus arrives to be face-to-face with Thomas, and I will bet you anything that Jesus was grinning in that moment. Now, some of you know that I have a checkered religious background. I was Roman Catholic as a kid, and then as a teenager, I belonged to an evangelical charismatic church. Some people called it Pentecostal or Holy Roller. We sang loud, we prayed loud, and we lifted our hands up in the air to praise the Lord. There was a story we used to tell in that church, a story about a guy named Harry. Harry was the town drunk, and he was a gambler too, not to mention a thief. But when church revival days would come, Harry was always there. A traveling preacher would come through and get worked up and promote repentance and renewal and revival. God wants to fill you with his Holy Spirit. The preacher would yell, and the preacher would invite everyone down front at the end of the service to receive laying on of hands and loud prayers. Harry came down to the front every time, and he would receive prayer and the laying on of hands, and he always left the service with a big smile on his face. You see, he would yell, fill me, Lord, fill me, Lord, and apparently he would feel something. But the next day, he would be back to his old ways, drinking and gambling and stealing and lying. But next revival service, he'd be back 
for more prayers. And one time he was down in front shouting, Fill me, Lord! Fill me, Lord! And finally, a sweet little old lady yells, Don't do it, Lord! He leaks! <laughs> and at first I love that old story, and then I realize I can't throw stones at Harry. As I get older and I look in the mirror... I see a guy with more wrinkles and more creases and more jowls. And when I look into my heart, I see a guy with a faith that leaks. I have failed to be like Jesus again and again and again. So my only hope is that Jesus has a sense of humor. I can only hope when I get face to face with Jesus... He will laugh with me. My working theory is that the resurrection had a soundtrack. The first Easter, I think, had background music. That soundtrack, that music, was laughter. Jesus laughs because everything ends with resurrection. Death is not the end. Easter blows the doors off all the tombs. And the sound we sometimes catch is the sound of laughter. Jesus laughing at us and with us and for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that all who believe in him should not perish but have ever laughing life. Amen.